Hey guys, this is Mary Ellen from Planning with Bumble. Welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, I am going to be creating an advent calendar. This was my Happy Planner Squad project for the month. I'm really big into random acts of kindness, so I decided to do one each day for December until Christmas. As you can see, I already created most of the paper flaps, but I decided to wait for the last one to show you how I do it. So basically, I just created squares that are three centimeters by three centimeters but when i you can see right here i'm doing three and a half centimeters because i'm leaving half a centimeter for the fold over so that it i can stick it down to the page okay so now that i have my squares i am just going to like i said fold over a tiny flap at the top so that's where my glue is going to go. Okay, so now I have 24 paper squares. I am going to decorate them before I glue them down on the page because it's going to be easier that way. So. I decided I would take the rainbow sticker book. I have a bunch of these. I have like three or four of these books. So I had the stickers to use and I'm just going to cover up each of the squares with different red and green stickers. I have to number these pieces of paper as well, so I'm just going to grab some of these really cute gift numbers from the Dates and Holidays sticker book, and I'm going to put one on each square. Now it's time to glue the squares down onto the paper and I'm using this Zig glue pen and I'll link this in the description box below with all the other supplies that I always put down there. Um, really like this pen. It's easy because the tip is really small so you can get in small spaces. So I'm just going to glue them all down. Okay, they're all glued down, so now I'm just going to take a planner and just lay it on top and let it sit there for a little bit just to make sure they're secure. Off camera, I penciled in the 24 random acts of kindness at the top of the page, and I'm just using my Tombow dual brush pen that I always use to um, just trace my, my writing. I didn't write it with you guys in pencil because it's easier for me to 
to write if my face is closer to the page and it's I can't do that with my camera. I'm not crazy about the black edge on the paper, so I'm going to cover it up and use that area to be a little more decorative. After I punched the paper, I realized I should have put stickers on first. Now I'm going to have to re-punch it and hope I can get it in exactly the same spot. But it's not a big deal. It'll probably be fine. And now I just grabbed some of these stickers from the holiday, the Happy Memory Keeping Holiday Sticker Book. The poinsettias and the pine branches make it look so festive. I almost didn't use them, but I was saving them for a spread. But they're just so cute, so I couldn't resist. Also using a little bit of this holly, and I'm just going to spread these out along both sides of the page. Now I am repunching, hoping I get this right, and it did turn out fine. And that's the good thing about this punch is it has lines there so you know exactly where to put the paper. So now I am just taking one random act of kindness each day and writing it in underneath the paper flaps. Now I'm just going to go back in and color in the downstrokes on the letters at the top of the page just for to make it a little more interesting. And then I'm finished and I hope you guys are encouraged to do your own random acts of kindness. Maybe you get some ideas from what I wrote in mine. I, I really hope so because I think it's amazing. It makes you feel good. It makes other people feel good. So I'm looking forward to doing these in December. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell. And also check me out on Instagram at Planning with Bumble because I do post other things that I don't include on my YouTube channel in case you're interested. Have a great day and a fantastic holiday season. See you soon. Bye.